What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I'm Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video we're going to be speaking about betting. Because the betting scenarios in the Premier League just continue to get worse and worse. Before we do get into the video, please make sure to like the video, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel. Go and follow the TikTok and the Instagram Daniel Talks Football on both. Right, after the Ivan Tony situation happened and Ivan Tony was banned from football for eight months, I said that betting need to be, needed to be removed from football. I don't think it's right that betting is plastered all over football, yet then when a player indulges in it, they get banned. I don't think that's right. I don't think players should be betting, but clubs shouldn't be sponsored by something that the players themselves can't do. It doesn't make sense. However, it's only getting worse. Harry to follow of Nottingham Forest has since been banned for a betting relating breach. He had more bets made than Tony, yet only received a five-month ban. However, to follow is now out of contention for Nottingham Forest for five months and has received a hefty ban. Now, the reason this video has come about is not because of this Harry to follow situation. Is because according to The Athletic, a unnamed Premier League manager has, you know, had some betting breaches, has committed some betting breaches, and has not been banned. I'm going to find the exact quote in words right now, because this is abysmal. I will read you, I will read you the tweet from Daniel Taylor, revealed. The FA secretly let off a manager who had been gambling on football. The manager, who cannot be named because of a court ruling, was spared at the same time Ivan Tony and others were being punished. The FA is refusing to say why. Now, um, was it Fabrizio Romano who confirmed this? Maybe they weren't a Premier League manager. Either way, a manager has been let off. This is not on. How you can be banning players for this but not banning managers is, is simply not on. Because a manager, in theory, has the exact same... First of all, the same rulings there. There aren't any rulings saying that managers can bet. And has the same impact on the game. Look, Tony could bet on himself to get a yellow card. So could a manager. So could Harry to follow. So could any footballer. You know, a manager could bet on their team to lose a game 4-0. And I know in theory they don't have as much control as a player on the pitch does. But they can still bet on things that can be influenced by themselves. Now, I presume that wasn't what this bet was. Otherwise, the FA would have banned him. However, either way, this is not correct how, you can, how you're can how you banning players who are not managers. The FA need to stamp down this and they need to sort out betting within football. I don't agree with betting sponsors anyway. I think, so many, I think betting ruins so many people's lives and... It's not something that should be in football full stop, really. Being shoved down the throats of supporters to the point where it's on shirts, it's, you know, massive, massive deal. However, if then players can't indulge in it, manage, managers now maybe can, but they can't. But they, It's an entire, entire mess. The FA need to sort this out and sort it out quickly. Um, yeah. It's a mess. Anyway, just quickly wanted to speak on that issue. Please make sure to like the video, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. We're going to be back with consistent uploads next week. And yeah, I'll catch you all again in the next video. See ya!